What's up, pranksters? Welcome back. And yes, it's already March. And what does that mean? Well, it means that we're fast approaching April 1st. And for those of you who don't know what April 1st is, well, let me tell you, it's the one day of the year that us pranksters can get away with setting up pranks. Well, actually, Halloween also applies to this. Well, this day in particular is dedicated to pranks. So I'm super excited about that day. And if you're a prankster, you should be excited too. So to get you guys ready for that day, I'm gonna be showing you guys five pranks that, actually 10 pranks, 10 simple pranks you guys can set up on your friends and family on April 1st. And these particular pranks are based on fast food. Whether you go dine in at a fast food restaurant, carry out or get delivery, these pranks are very simple and you'll easily be able to set them up on your friends and family. So if you guys are ready for that, hit the thumbs up button now and check it out. As I mentioned in the intro of this video, we're gonna be messing with food. And these are very simple pranks, guys. Like I said, I'm not exaggerating, they're very simple. You guys can set these up at the restaurant, at your house, anywhere. First, we're gonna begin with this little cup of ranch. And let's say you are at a restaurant, guys, and you're with your whole family, and one of your siblings just happens to hate ranch. They hate it, they think it's disgusting. Well, here's a little quick prank you guys can set up on them. You open up this cup of ranch, like this and actually some restaurants have these little paper cups where you guys can dispense your own ranch or ketchup onto them but we're gonna be using this since this is all i have so once they go to the restroom open this and get yourself a packet of ketchup so if they hate ranch they probably do love ketchup so open up your packet of ketchup like this and then you're gonna spread some ketchup all over the surface of this cup of ranch what we're trying to do is cover it. So do your best at covering the ranch. The cool thing about this particular cup that I got is that it's white, just like the ranch. So the ranch does blend in pretty well and your victim won't be able to tell. Try to spread it out as much as you can. You know, you'll probably do a better job than me. This doesn't take too long guys. So if you guys hurry, you'll be able to set this up pretty fast. You just leave it next to their fries or their chicken nuggets. And so when your victim returns, They'll dip their chicken nugget into this cup of ranch, or I mean ketchup. So they'll dip it in like this. They may or may not notice it. Ugh. <laughs> but if they do notice, guys, that means they won't eat this nugget, so they'll probably give it to you. It doesn't take much to set up this prank. It's very simple and anybody can try it anywhere. Up next, we're gonna booby trap this packet of ketchup. And if you're at a restaurant, you guys can use a toothpick. But if you're at home, you guys can use a push pin. These are best for this prank. So basically, guys, figure out where the tear here part is. So it's right there. You guys are gonna be poking little holes on this packet of ketchup and it's very, very easy and simple. All you gotta do is push just a little. Look, I just made a little hole right there. And the smaller the hole, the better because your victim won't be able to notice it. So you can make a few holes on the center. And yeah, you might squeeze a little and a little bit of ketchup might, might ooze out just a little, but that's fine. You guys can wipe it off with a rag or a napkin. But the more holes you have on there, the better. Here's the packet of ketchup. When they open it and squeeze it. <laughs> See, I just squeezed it just a little and look what happened. Now imagine if they don't spot this like I did and they actually go in and try to put some ketchup on their fries. <laughs> They're gonna have a messy hand, which they can easily wipe off with a napkin. But like I said at the start of this video, these are very simple pranks. They're not meant to be super mean. They're not meant to be super messy. They're just little practical jokes. You guys can easily set up on your friends and family on April Fool's Day. Now let's mess with your victim's drink. Let's say that they already poured themselves some soda. They got their favorite soda in there. So a simple way to mess with them is you remove the lid like this, simple enough, right? If you already finished your burger, you have yourself a wrapper. We're gonna take some of this wrapper and we're gonna put it over the soda like this. So now this is covering the whole cup and then we're gonna take the lid and place it over the wrapper. And remember, you do this when your victim is not looking. So this works best when they're at the restroom. Okay, now you got this, right? What are you gonna do with it? 
Well, you simply tear it off. Just like this. It should come off pretty easy. All right, and that's it, guys. Look at the cup. Yep, you can't really tell that it's been tampered with, right? So, when your victim tries to insert the straw, they'll have a difficult time getting it in there. It's like I said, it's just a good way to mess with them. And guess what, guys? You can do the same thing to the ketchup bottle. So when nobody's looking, untwist the top, and then if you have a wrapper like this one, like the burger wrapper, you put it over the top, twist the cap back on. Might be a little snug, but you can get it in there. And then just remove the excess wrapper like this, try to do your best. So nobody will notice it. And there you guys have it. Simple as that. Now, when your victim tries to put some ketchup on their fries, this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, you pretty much blocked off the top, right? So they can squeeze and squeeze, but nothing will happen. Obviously their first instinct will be to open it up, untwist the top, and yep, there's a little jam right there, which happens to be the piece of wrapper that you put on there. This next prank you guys can prepare at home. So basically what you guys need to do in advance is that when you guys run out of mustard, like I have right here, keep this, save it, wash it up, make sure it's really clean because we're gonna fill this up with something that your victim probably won't want on their food. Like in my first prank, let's say my victim doesn't like ranch. So I'm gonna fill up this bottle of mustard with ranch. The cool thing about this bottle is that it's solid. It's not see-through, it's a solid yellow color like most mustard bottles. So let's begin guys. And I'm gonna start filling it up with ranch. So let's squeeze some in there. Just like that. I don't know why people don't like ranch. I love ranch, especially with hot wings. I think I got plenty of it in there. I'm gonna put the cap on, which has this little nozzle. And the cap is yellow, it's solid, it's not see-through. And there's a little hole right there your victim can't really see through. But nobody really looks inside, right? Come on. So, when they pour this on, let's say, their burger, and like I said, they hate ranch. So they'll open up their burger, like this. And I'm sorry guys, this burger isn't fresh. I ordered it like two hours ago, but I spent a lot of time setting up for this video. So they don't think they'll be adding mustard to their burger, but oh no, what is that? <laughs> they'll probably think that it's mayonnaise because <laughs> it does look like it, but no, it's ranch. So one of your friends or one of your siblings left their drink unattended like that. Perfect time to mess with them. First, hide all the straws and make sure that this straw is the only straw they have. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna take some scissors and we're gonna cut off most of it. More than half of it actually. Just like that. Now what you guys are gonna do is put it back and make sure your hands are clean guys, come on. Put it back, looks normal right? <laughs> Just wait till they get to the point where the straw ends and the straw won't be able to reach their soda. Once it gets to like about right here, this straw will be useless. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> so they'll pull up on it and it will reveal that they had a short straw. Another way to mess with their straw guys, you pull it out like this when they're not looking. So if they went to the restroom, you can do this very, very quickly. You get their straw and you tie it. You tie a little knot on it like this. You remove the lid and through the bottom you push the straw through and then you put the lid back on the cup. Try to make it look as normal as possible and when they sip on this they'll definitely won't get anything through that straw because it's sealed shut and then when they realize that something is wrong with their straw they'll try to pull it out <laughs> and it's stuck. Right? <laughs> So of course they'll have to open up the lid and that's when they'll figure out what exactly is wrong with their straw. Of course they can easily undo the knot and the straw will work just as good. But please guys, like I said, wash your hands when you do this. You don't want to contaminate their drink, right? Up next I'm going to show you one last straw prank you guys can set up. So as you guys can see I got a normal looking straw 
Preferably for this prank, I would want you guys to have a red or any colored straw, not a see-through straw like this one, but it's okay guys. This prank will work no matter what. And to show you guys how exactly this prank works, I'll be using this clear cup filled with water as demonstration. You guys can do this at a restaurant or at home. And for this demo, I'm gonna be using my favorite hot sauce. This one right here. A lot of places have these because these are very popular. So we're just gonna remove the top very easily. Okay, now that we got your victim straw, stick the straw in there. Hold the top so you can extract some of that hot sauce. Just like that, guys. And don't let go because if you let go, all that hot sauce is gonna come pouring out. Take a napkin and wipe off the hot sauce like this because you don't wanna taint your victim's drink. So as you're holding on to the tip of this straw, let's pretend that this cup of water is your victim's drink, but you guys won't be able to appreciate the prank if I show you with that. You insert the straw into their cup like this And notice guys that the hot sauce is not contaminating their drink. It's not spreading around that much. It's pretty clean. And at this point, you're gonna let go of the top and nothing happened. Let the straw rest there. Guess what's gonna happen when your victim goes in for a drink? They're gonna suck up some of that hot sauce and it won't be pretty. I'm telling you guys, it's not fun. And that's why I wanted to show you guys in a clear cup with water because you guys wouldn't have seen that if I shown you with this soda right here. But this is exactly what you guys can do with this cup of soda. Do the same thing and it'll work just fine. Yay, it's pizza time. And this prank guys, everyone should know. Everyone should be able to know how to do this prank because it's a classic. So we got a bottle of Parmesan right here. This is Parmesan cheese. A lot of people usually like to put this on their pizza. So let's say everybody gets a slice of pizza, right? You get your slice, your brother gets a slice, your sister gets a slice, your dad, your mom, everybody gets a pizza. What you wanna do first is you wanna be the first person that gets Parmesan cheese. And this is what you do. When nobody's looking, you want twist the cap until it's loose you barely place it on, you add pressure to it, and you open it like this. So at this point, while still holding on to the cap, you add a little bit of Parmesan on your pizza. Just like that. Simple, right? And when your brother asks you to pass him the Parmesan, you hand it over to them, and this is what's gonna happen when they try to put some Parmesan on their pizza. <laughs> yeah, I don't wanna pour a lot of it, <laughs> but... Yeah, because I want to eat this pizza, actually. <laughs> but yeah, guys, it could make a big mess. But actually, a lot of people like a lot of Parmesan on their pizza. Um, I don't as much. That's why I put a stop to it right away, because I want to enjoy this pizza. But yeah, this is a classic prank that everyone should know. And now we're down to our last prank. This is the bag that came with the meal that I bought earlier. It's a paper bag. And it's empty, right? And no, the prank is not that you're just gonna leave it like that and make your victim think that there's food in there and when they open it, oh no, no food, eh, lame prank, right? What we're gonna do, and this is the messiest prank also, out of all 10, you're gonna need a container like this one. This is a Tupperware container. And what you guys are gonna do first is you're gonna put the bag on its side. You're gonna fill this up with water or any liquid of your choice. Well, I added a little bit of Kool-Aid like I always do. And then I'm gonna put this container inside like this. I'm just gonna scoot it all the way back. And that's it guys, look at that. That's all you guys gotta do, and then you're gonna roll it up. That's the bar, right? Looks like there's a burger and maybe some fries in there. When they see this on the table, they'll be tempted to open up this bag, so they'll lift it up, and when they do so, the container inside that's filled with Kool-Aid is gonna flip over and all the contents are gonna spill all over. And now let's see that in action. <laughs> so I'm the victim, right? I'm super hungry and then I see this fast food paper bag just sitting there on the counter. Obviously I'm gonna flip it over. Mmm. <laughs> so they better rush and get to the sink because uh, the paper bag can only hold it so long until it starts to spill all over the counter. So as you guys saw, the paper bag was actually pretty strong. 
I underestimated it. It held up the contents longer than I thought it would, but it still made a little mess that really your victim won't want to clean up, right? <laughs> That's it. 10 of the simplest, simplest pranks you guys could ever pull off. Hopefully you liked one of these pranks and you already gave this video a thumbs up. And if you didn't, go ahead, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I'll be having more pranks coming up. I'm gonna get you guys super ready for April Fool's Day so you don't wanna miss out. You wanna be a subscriber of mine. So hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications. And in my next video, I will announce finally the winner of the hoverboard that I was giving out. And I'll announce a new giveaway. So hopefully you stay tuned. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Oh, and now I'm gonna eat the rest of this pizza. Later guys. So I'm gonna go for this sauce because this is my favorite. I'm just gonna pour some onto it. This is what will happen when your victim opens a pizza box. So his first instinct will be to grab it and this is what will happen. As you can see, it's uh, no fun.